Tonight, a street renaming in East Flatbush in honor of the 12 year old boy who was shot and killed just days before his 13th birthday back in March. And News 12's Phil Tate was there. Phil joins us now tonight from East Flatbush. Phil, what did the family have to say? Yeah, well, Kurt Amanda, it was a bittersweet moment for this family as they wish that Cade Lewin was still here rather than attending today's street renaming. Well, for many, they came here to East 56th Street and Linden Boulevard, where the teen gave his final breaths as they just try to find the words. A sea of white balloons floating into the air along with smiles and cheers as Cade Ashton Tyler Lewin Way was unveiled. The same corner where the 12 year old lost his life. Cade's grief stricken mother just wants justice for her son. Why you took my son? Why you have to come and took my son on 54th Street? Just want you to turn yourself in and just let me have peace. As many call for justice tonight, asking for the gunman to surrender, police telling us there are no updates or leads. My understanding is that there's a lot of information already out there and that people can move on it. As gun violence continues to plague our city, the NYPD says citywide they've made more than 2,000 gun arrests so far this year, adding that nearly a quarter of those people had a prior felony conviction. When are we going to start protecting the innocent people? There's so much energy for those who are carrying guns. There's so much energy for those who are repeated offenders. There's so much energy for that. But what about the people who are doing the right thing? For many tonight, their prayer is that history will not repeat itself and gun violence will be silenced once and for all. We will not remember what took place here for the violence, but we remember the life and what it stands for. Phil, those calls to end the gun violence becoming all too common here in the city. Are there any upcoming plans to further get that message across? Yeah, well, Amanda, a big demonstration planned for Saturday as March of Our Lives plans to take to the streets calling for an end to gun violence. Well, that's going to kick off at Cabin Plaza starting at noon. Amanda? To get that message across happening this weekend. Okay, Phil, thanks for the